CDL Book Club, Jeff Mills right here on the CDL Book Club grounds. And we are going to perform the Class B pre-trip inspection. And this is for the Merlin test only, uh, Merlin license holders only. I'm gonna start with my keys in my pocket and my wheels are chalk. And we're gonna enter the vehicle using three points of contact. See you inside. So I'm entering the vehicle, there's the three points of contact, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna just get, put the key in, in the ignition, and I'm not putting my seatbelt on, because that's the first thing you want to do. All right, so now we're inside the truck, and we're going to start with a safe start. So I'm gonna point out the ABS light. The ABS light is here. The ABS light went out. It properly works. My DEF gauge, it my DEF indicator properly works. And this engine light, this that right there, we want to. That's for like a heat, the heater coil. So you wait till that go out, and then you can properly turn the truck on. So now we're going to turn it on, and we're going to let the air pressure build up to the governor cutout rate. We're gonna wait for the sneeze and we're gonna build the air pressure up to the 120 PSI governor cutout rate. So now we start with the horns. City horn properly works. Air horn is here, mm -hmm. properly works. My mirrors, the West Coast mirror, the spot mirror, blind side mirror, and the hood mirrors, they all are not cracked, not broken, they're secure. They're clean and they're adjusted for me. And the mirror brackets are not cracked, not broken, they're secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts, and they're not bent. Now, the I have emergency equipment inside the truck is a fully charged fire extinguisher three reflective triangles and spare fuses, six for a number. Now, my windshield wipers, we're going to just make them spray and show that they are flush to the windshield and they work properly. The They're not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. They're not bent and the windshield wiper blades are not dry, rotted or frayed. Now, also a little note for you this truck has an idling system it doesn't um if you see the engine lights come on like check engine light check engine light check engine light just tap the accelerator so that the uh check engine light will come on um if it if it comes on or when it comes on i'll show you just to demonstrate um that's a note for you all right so why are you taking the test all right now Indicators, we have the left indicator, the right indicator, and the four-way flasher indicator button is here. And we show that the four-way flashers indicators properly work. And the high beam indicator. So we're gonna turn the lights on, that's right here on the left. And we're gonna flick the lever back and show that the high beam indicator properly works. Now, we're going to, let's see here, we're going to, let's build up this air pressure. See if we can make it sneeze. All right, so we have enough air to perform the, the parking brake test, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So, the for the parking brake test, for class B, you only worry about the yellow parking brake, not the red. This is for the trailer. So for the parking brake test, I would put my vehicle in drive and leave the parking brake applied and accelerate. And we're gonna tug against it. It should hold. Starting now, so I put the vehicle in drive and tap the accelerator tap the accelerator, the parking brake held, 
so it properly works. Now, I put my vehicle in neutral, and now, let's build, let's build up the air pressure. So, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna explain the service brake test. For the service brake test, I would drive five miles an hour forward, apply the brake, and the vehicle should not move no more than, I'm sorry, the vehicle should not pull to the left or pull to the right, no unusual feeling. All right, so now, let's see, let's, let's build it up. We just need enough air, because the next test that we're gonna do is build the, build the air up to the governor cutout rate, so, have enough air to perform my low air leakage test. And how I'm gonna do that is, um, in the vehicle has, uh, now we're gonna do three things. We're gonna one, turn the truck off. Two, turn the key on so the dash lights up. Three, push in the parking brake, starting now. So one, Turn the truck off. Two, and I'm gonna turn the four-way flashes off for right now. Two, turn the key on so the dash lights up. And three, I'm going to push in the parking brake. Starting now, and put that in. Let the air settle. Okay, the air is settled. I have. So, actually, I left my watch at home. So, <laughs> so we're gonna say we're gonna hold the we're gonna hold the brake down for 60 seconds, and the the vehicle should not lose no more than three psi. So we'll say, and you watching your time. You say starting now. Hold the brake down. You watching your time, and you watching the gauges. And you say one minute is up after after 60 seconds. Take your foot off the brake. You say that the vehicle did not lose no more than four PSI. I'm sorry, for it's three PSI for class B. The vehicle did not lose no more than three PSI and it properly held, so no leaks. So now we're gonna fan the brakes down to 60 PSI and the low air pressure buzzer and indicator should come on, and then we'll continue to fan the indicators, the gauge down to 40 to 20 PSI, and the parking brake should pop out starting now. Low air pressure indicator and buzzer came on, it properly works. So now we keep fanning until the parking brake pops out. parking brake popped out it properly works so now we're going to turn the four-way flashes back on and the high beams and we're going to ask the examiner to get out the truck check the id clearance lights that they properly work check the four-way flashers that they properly work then the left turn signal indicator I mean, the left turn signal lights outside, the right turn signal indicator outside, and turn the high beams and turn off the high beams and show the low beams work also, work properly. And then ask the examiner to come down to the side to check your, 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 your you can just turn the four-way flashes on and check the side markers, the side, and then ask them to go to the rear and check the four-way flashers and then turn the four-way flashes off, and then left turn signal, right turn signal, and hit the brake so that the brake show that the brakes work. And you hit the brake and show that the brakes work. They give you thumbs up. Now you can go ahead and turn off, turn your lights off, turn the key off, take the key with you, and get out. So we're gonna check the lenses and check the engine compartment and everything that we need to check outside. Let's go. 
and I'm exiting using three points of contact. All right, so now we're gonna check the ID clearance lights at the top. They are not cracked, not broken and secure. Amber is the proper color with no condensation. Amber to the front, red to the rear. The headlights are not cracked, not broken and secure. And they are clean and clear with no condensation. The turn signals are not cracked, not broken and secure. And their proper color is amber in the front, red to the rear. And the balance, the suspension is balanced. If the suspension wasn't balanced, I placed the vehicle out of service. No leaks or puddles or broken glass underneath the vehicle. If I had that, I would place the vehicle out of service. All tires are properly inflated to the manufacturer's specification. Now we're gonna to go to the engine compartment on the passenger side. So we're gonna open up the hood. You wanna control that hood. And then we're gonna come on in and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get we're gonna start with this big radiator hose here. It says the radiator hose is not cracked, not broken and secure. It's not dry, routed, or frayed with no leaks and it's properly clamped. I will inspect all the rest of my hoses the same way as I inspected my initial hose. Now, the windshield washer fluid reservoir is here. It's not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks. The cap is hand tight. Now, we'll go to the driver's side. On the driver's side. So, in this, on the driver's side, we're going to start with the air compressor and its lines. They're not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks. And it's gear driven. Underneath the air compressor is the power steering pump. It's not cracked, not broken and secure. And, um, and its lines are, they have no leaks. And the power steering pump is also gear driven. The engine oil dipstick. It's not cracked, not broken and secure, no leaks. And how I would check the dipstick, I would check it with the engine off. And how I would uh, I would pull it, I would pull it out, wipe it off, insert it back in, and pull it back out, and it should read between the ad and the full mark. And the next thing would be the water pump. The water pump is not cracked, not broken and secure, no leaks, and it's hoses. It's not cracked, or not cracked, not broken and secure with no leaks, no loose or missing parts, and the hose is properly clamped. The power stern, I'm sorry, the coolant reservoir and its lines are not cracked, not broken and secure, and it should read between the ad and the full mark. The caps are hand tight. Now, starting with the stern system, system number one, I'm gonna start with the power stern fluid reservoir. It's not cracked, not broken and secure, no leaks. It should read between the ad and the full mark. The caps are hand tight. The, the steering lines, the hoses here, are not cracked, not broken and secure, not dry, routed, or free with no leaks, and they're properly clamped. The steering shaft, steering shaft is not cracked, not broken and secure, and has no illegal wells, no loose or missing parts, and should not have no more than two inches, no more than two inches of play and it's not bent and has no debris wrapped around the gearbox is not cracked not broken and secure no leaks no loose or missing parts and it's and the steering linkage the steering linkage is not cracked not broken and secure no illegal welds no loose or missing parts and it's not they're not none of the parts are bent and they are connected by castle nuts and cotter pins. Castle nuts and cotter pins. Now, system number two is the braking system. That's gonna we're gonna start with the ABS line and the brake hose. They're not cracked, not broken and secure, not dry, rotted, or frayed, no leaks from the hose. And the hose go to the brake chamber. The brake chamber is not cracked, not broken and secure, and it, it uh, has no leaks not dented and this vehicle does not have a push rod and slack adjuster now inside the wheel 
inside the wheel. This vehicle has disc brakes. The, the disc brakes are not cracked, not broken and secure. No extra grooves and has no brake contaminants such as oil or metal shavings. And the brake shoe lining are not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose and missing parts and they're not worn dangerously thin. Now system number three is the suspension system. The suspension, we have the leaf springs. They're not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. And they're not shifted or missing or bent. And the U-bolts are not cracked, not broken and secure. No loose or missing parts, no illegal welds. And they're not bent. The axle is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. And the axle is not bent. The hangers and the hanger mounts are not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. And it's not bent. And the frame, the frame is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. And it's cross members. Have, they're not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. And the frame has no extra holes. The last part is the shock absorber. The shock absorber is not cracked, not broken and secure. No loose or missing parts and no leaks from the shock absorber. This vehicle does not have airbags on this steering axle. Now, the steering tire is not cracked, not broken and secure. They're uh, not dry rod afraid. It's properly inflated. No cuts or bulges on the side walls. The tread is evenly worn. The tread depth should be no less than 432. And all other tires should be no less than 232. The how I would check the tread depth is with a tread depth gauge. And how I would check the air pressure is with a air pressure gauge or a rubber mallet. Now, this steering tire cannot be recapped. All other tires can be recapped. Now, the tires is on the rim. It's not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welts, no loose or missing parts, and it's not bent. The lug nuts and the studs, they're not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welts, no loose or missing parts. And the they um, if the lug nuts were loose or missing, they would show rust or shininess. The holes on the rim, they are not elongated elongated now the valve stem is not cracked not broken and secure the valve stem has no leaks and has a metal cap the oil hub is not cracked not broken and secure no loose or missing parts and no leaks now we're finished with this area here the steering axle so i'm going to close up the hood come on with me we're going to just close up the hood and you're going to go to the passenger side and close up the hood. So we need two hands with this, with this hint, with these latches. So we push them in and then strap them down. Make sure they lock down. Then we go to the driver's side. And on the driver's side, I'll show you here. So we want to make sure that you push, you put this part into that groove right there. So that's why you need two hands and then you hold it and then lock it down. It's good and tight. Now, the on the side markers, the lenses are what we're talking about. So it's not cracked, not broken, it's secure. And amber is the proper color with no condensation. And uh, now we're gonna go to the tanks. So we're gonna start with the DEF tank and its lines. They're not cracked, not broken and secure, no leaks, and the lines are not dry rotted or free. They're securely clamped, and the DEF tank, the cap, is hand tight. The fuel tank is not cracked, not broken and secure, and its lines are not cracked, not broken and secure, no leaks. The lines are not dry rotted or free. They're securely clamped, and the fuel tank has a cap that's hand tight.
with a rubber seal and a metal chain, just for extra. The air tanks are not cracked, not broken and secure, and it's lines. The air tanks and the lines are not cracked, not broken and secure, no leaks, the lines are not dry, rotted, afraid, and properly clamped, and the tank is drained daily, free of condensation, no leaks. Now, all we have to do now is we come to the back, the, D, the, the, ref, the DOT tape and reflectors, they're not cracked, not broken, they're secure, they're clean, proper color. The left turn signal, right turn signal, and four-way flashers and the brake lights are red is the proper color, and they have no condensation. The reverse light is not cracked, not broken, it's secure, and the reverse light is white in color, and it white is the proper color with no condensation. The tag light is not cracked, not broken, it's secure, and it's white in color, and that's the proper color with no condensation. Now, we're at the end of the pre-trip inspection, so, you just you're gonna have a checklist for this class B for this Merlin class B test. And you want to before you say that this concludes your your pre-trip, you wanna just review because you have plenty of time for this test. So just review everything, make sure you said everything that you're supposed to say it, and make sure you did what you were supposed to have done. And then let's just go up here and just reflect. We made sure we got everything. And because the drive axle, we don't have to inspect. We did the air tanks. We did the, uh, the fuel tank, the DEF tank. We did the engine compartment. We did the emergency equipment and everything inside. So I would say this concludes my pre-trip for class B. And if you are interested in obtaining your class B license in the state of Maryland, or anywhere in the United States, we can still help you. And this is what you want to do. You want to go to thecdlbookclub.com. That's T-H-E, cdlbookclub.com for the exam books that'll help you with the general knowledge, air brakes, and combination tests, the, pre, the greatest pre-trip inspection book, class A and B, and the skills books. And so you can order those books right on it, right off of this website. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. 301-793-2351. 301-793-2351. CDL Book Club is where you get CDL minded. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.